on the game note, she was not supposed to play, but then she was boosted up to questionable for tonight. So we'll see if Angel McCautry will actually get in the game. And she wasn't able to bid farewell to Atlanta before she was traded to the Aces. You can see the excitement, the giddiness on her face as well as it's hard not to crack a smile for for Angel as well. We'll see what it what happens here. They're the first overall draft pick for Atlanta. And Bill Ambeer points to her. Number 35 gets up off the bench. And the crowd begins to stand on their feet and give Angel McCarthy the much deserved standing ovation for everything that she's given this franchise. They throw her the ball. The crowd is saying, shoot it, Angel. She doesn't get the bucket. And honestly, Tiffany Hayes rebounded the basketball and looked at McCautry and was going to pass it back to her for the bucket. What an amazing moment for Angel McCautry to be back in Atlanta. Different building, but same respect from these fans. What a beautiful moment, and kudos to both teams for making that happen. The game was over, and, you know, for Angel to step back on the court here, um, I'm sure it meant a lot to her, it meant a lot to these fans. Um, just a really cool moment to end with. She told Chanceana Keys, Atlanta will always be home. She's established so much here. She had the Cautry's ice cream shop here as well. She's a businesswoman, just understands giving back to this community as well. You can see her all smiles, hoping that she has a great recovery from the ACL tear that she had in the preseason games on May 8th against the Sparks. But more than anything, it's great to see Angel McCautry all smiles. So here, Angel McCautry, as we've mentioned throughout this broadcast for China, and you've been able to cover her a great portion of her career in Atlanta. And seeing how she's grown, seeing how she's interacting with the players and, and fans here right now. She's talking with Angel, sorry, with Renee Montgomery, the minority owner for the dream right now. But it's family. And just seeing her right now is pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, it's so cool. I mean, the love that people have for her here. Everyone's still sitting around just watching her interact on the court. And Renee taking photos of her, but I, I just like that when people come into this building in Atlanta, they're going to get love. And we've seen from Rashawn Ali, very deserving, who is big in this city, to Angel McCautry. We saw Tamika Jones, Kennesaw State, Octavia Blue, head coach there. You know, if you're a part of the Atlanta sports scene, especially the women in this in this community, the cultural aspect is really starting to show itself, and I love it. I love what they're doing here, and it's, it's really impressive. And it's a beautiful thing to see, even in the WNBA's 25th season, for us to give the flowers to those that deserve it. And Angel McCartry is definitely one of those players that has done everything in her power to just build a franchise, give everything, and leave everything on the floor, give them success, and even grow in her game as well. So for us, we will say thank you, Angel McCautry, for everything that you've given Atlanta Dream. And best of luck in the future. Thanks for joining us for Atlanta Dream Basketball, brought to you by Coca-Cola. We'll be back with highlights right after this.